Hi and welcome to the channel primarily dedicated for you to break through the spirit of the world. This is the channel where I primarily share knowledge about the alchemized sublime sciences. Now I'm going to share something that's been highly requested and asked of me from the moment that people understood that I was far more in tune with things than I actually was willing to accept. I realized very early on in my life that existence is not fleeting per se but it is an experience where we are inhabiting a temporary vessel and living a temporary human life which seems very realistic and it seems like something we'll be doing forever so to speak but in hindsight everything in the world as i've stated in my previous videos is merely energy atoms matter and light now for you to understand that you need to realize that your thoughts uh, magnetize a lot of things and I'm sure it's something you've heard very much before time and time again um, it's something that's really publicized in new age spirituality and it's something we see across all forms of social media platforms now any thought that you have or even any negative thought that you have alchemizes the very experiences which you fear or the very experiences that you wish to attract. It just perpetuates every single thing that you think. Now, if you have conflicting thoughts and you're an overthinker like me, you need to spend a lot of time understanding who you truly are at your core and why you have all these conflicting beliefs and values or why you have all these conflicting wants and needs. Now, it's easy for that to happen simply because of how enmeshed we are with everyone else in the world and how consciously connected everyone is now more than ever because we have access to social media and we can sort of infiltrate people's lives and thoughts we somewhat subconsciously inhabit other people uh, other people's thoughts the behaviors and we adopt a lot of things that aren't necessarily ours now for starters when we were when we were younger but when we were children, as a matter of fact, we adopted a lot of our parents' characteristics or whichever our caregiver or um, guardian was at the time. We adopt a lot of their modes of thinking, their behavior, their belief system, whether it be religion, whether it be, you know, um, anything romantic, whether it be physical, whether it be dietary requirements, just to name a few examples. Now. I want to share particularly how to manifest things and everything can manifest exactly the way that you materialize it as long as you are perpetuating the actions towards that particular goal whether it is attaining a marriage whether it is attaining a career promotion whatever the case may be whatever it is you truly want at your core you will continuously attract now it's hard to decipher that because a lot of us are obviously so um, addicted to living in this uh, perpetual inf infinite loop where we often want certain things or we want new sneakers and by virtue of wanting those sneakers we end up manifesting it because we have the money to afford it as an example now you need to understand that the universe somehow conspires to the exact things that you want it sounds redundant it sounds like something you cannot believe but for me in my life personally i've manifested things far more profound than i could have ever imagined in my entire life i am virtually living the life that i really dream of and you know i'm not saying this because i want you to buy into what i'm about to share with you i'm simply saying this because on a subconscious level i repeated the same patterns i broke out of those patterns and i continued living where living in a way where i was sort of accustomed to how i want to live in the future now that is not easy to do but I'm going to share with you how I manifest the things that I currently have in the life that I live. I'm very grateful to the universe and, you know, all my, I want to call them intermediaries in my life, people I've met, you know, um, family members, etc, etc, which are all part of the predestined journey and goal for you to match up and realize what it is you truly want and you want to become in the world and what you want to achieve and who you really want to be at your core. Um, so what i do to manifest is really quite simple all you really need is all you really need to manifest what you want in life is some bay leaves 
a notepad and preferably a black pen or a cokey or a marker whichever you prefer now for starters what you're going to do is you're going to visualize what it is that you want whatever that may be whether it be to travel 30,000 kilometers away from your hometown whether it be to um, achieve multiple distinctions whether it be to graduate to have a meaningful friendship or connection whatever it is that's truly sitting in your heart it doesn't matter if it's contrary to popular beliefs or values or lifestyles or anything mainstream it's whatever that it's whatever you know at your core that you so desperately want and crave now what you're going to do on the on the with the marker and the cokey is you're going to write on the bay leaf for example let's say i want to get my car i want to get my first car in 2022 so i'm going to write the particular model and the make of the car that i want so i'm going to as an example i'm going to get my bay leaf ready i would get my marker write it down there are two methods to do this you can either burn it or what i prefer to do is i prefer to get a, a clear glass jar sealable Put it inside with some cinnamon honey and salt but you're gonna need to layer the salt the cinnamon and the honey and then you write in detail what it is that you want exactly you're going to fold the paper towards you I will that in a second. let's say for example i've written what it is i truly desire here's my piece of paper Oops, I tore two by mistake. So let's say for example, I've written everything I truly desire. So I'm going to take my piece of paper. I'm going to fold it towards myself once, twice, three times, four, five, six. Now, ideally, if you can fold the paper six times i would recommend it but the number three six and nine is the golden ratio so if you fold it or repeat the mantra three six or nine times every single day it will manifest and come into fruition now that's how i achieved 99 percent of the things that i currently have our primary objective and goal in this life is to be creative and free and as liberated as possible from obligations now if you're similar to me and you love that sort of um theory behind living and existing um then this method will definitely help you now thank you so much for joining me i understand that this video was quite brief but i'm just here to share and help you understand that you can achieve virtually anything you want in this life as long as your frequency is aligned with that of what you desire now in order to get that you need to obviously refrain from the negative beliefs the self-doubt or the conditioning which takes a lot of practice and understanding and nurturing towards yourself it's quite difficult to have empathy towards yourself but you need to understand that you've been living in a conditioned way and the things that you may desire or the things that you are interested in is not necessarily a hundred percent authentically you and you are existing now presently because you need to be 100 percent authentically true to yourself and what it is that you desire it's it, it's no use complying with mainstream standards it's no use complying with anything that does not light that fire inside you so this manifestation may help you achieve things or amplify your manifestation that you've already been conjuring up into fruition this is something that um is definitely knowledge that is not so popular it's something that i believe to be true to me and if it works for me i'm definitely wanting other people in the world to reach that pinnacle or achieve that endeavor whatever it is that you truly desire this manifestation technique is for you once again thank you so much for joining me for this video i'm janard martin and see you again soon i guess